there, this is uh, String Traveler, and uh, I'm going to be going through a uh, bass lesson, basically a bass composition I wrote that demonstrates certain things on the bass that you may want to learn. Uh, basically, this is kind of just a rock tune, and it goes through some different runs and uh, it's got a little bit of a chord progression in it. So anyway, let me get started here. I'll go through the tune and then I'll explain it a little bit. And towards the end of this video, you'll have a uh, standard notation uh, where it follows through the composition and plays it as it goes through notation. For those of you that want to learn to read this in music and use the music maybe for later reference. So this is called Road Warrior. So it goes like this. using all four strings and uh, we're using hammer-ons and pull-offs. It shows some of the advantages of playing open strings. When you have a lot of open strings in your composition, a lot of times it can make it a lot easier to play because you can play open strings instead of um, fretted strings. They also have more resonance to them. So you could play the same composition up farther on the neck but it's actually easier down here uh, and you have the hammer-ons and pull-offs that you can use. While you don't want to rely exclusively on hammer-ons and pull-offs to do your bass playing, it's good to know them and good to have them. It can give kind of a, a casual sound. Some would say, oh that's a lazy sound, but sometimes it can give a, a certain vibe to it. So let me just show you a little bit. So that's open the E with a G and then followed by an E. Did you see that? So I'm not really uh, using a separate picking. You can. And you can alternate to give it a certain flavor at different times. Now granted this this D sounds a little more wimpy than this or this E sounds a little more wimpy than this E. See? Different tone. And there are times when you just really want to use this E. It gives us a certain thickness that this doesn't really have on the next string. But for this too. And, and then hear how long that, that resonant open A. And then I, on one of them I go. Yeah. 
Now it's an open G. see a lot of in chord progressions on rock bass is following the syncopated beat of the drum or making its own syncopated beat that the drum follows. It all varies between band to band and uh, team to team. just as easily been and so the reason I'm varying it from the actual music composition there is to show you that really even this is just one variation of the types of runs you can use in a chord progression. And it's to kind of communicate to you the idea that you could, um, there's a variety of ways that you could do a chord progression depending on the situation, depending on your position in the hierarchy of that group that you're playing with. It may be that if there's, especially if there's a lot of singing going on there, you wouldn't want to do anything more than octaves. You might even just stick to that basic note and the rhythm. So that hopefully breaks it down. Um, Hit like and subscribe if you like this, and then what's following here is I'm going to have this in standard notation for those of you that, um, here it is right here, by the way, uh, Road Warrior, for those of you that want to follow along with notes. <laughs>